Hello, it's Joe Glines from The Automator. The Automator is the number one trusted source for teaching people how to use AutoHockey. We teach people how to automate repetitive tasks, develop custom applications, and adapt programs to their needs. All of our courses come with a 200% money-back guarantee, so you have no risk whatsoever. Check them out. So in today's video, we're demonstrating a script we actually wrote for a client. And the client reached out to me. They watched this video. I'll put it up here. There's a link to you can get to append text files that have a similar structure. So what it does is it loops over the files, gets the header from the first one, removes the header from the other ones, but appends all the data. And it makes it really simple. It's a hotkeys, press it, bam, you're done. Very simple. He was curious if we could do the same thing with an XML file. Now, if you are familiar with XML files, there's there's a bit more of structure. There's not just a heading. You have some other nodes that you have to take care of, right? So um, I said, yeah, we, we could probably do that for you. And um, we, gave him a rate and, and got it done. And I said, hey, do you mind if we share this code? Because it might help other people. And he was happy to share it. So thank you so much, Gil, for letting letting us share this on the automator. Let's look at the code a little here. I'm not going to dive into the code too much because you'll have the download. It's in version two, auto hotkey. We have it where it's control shift M will merge the files or and control escape. These are on the system tray icon. Basically, now you have a tray menu. So it reminds you of the hotkey. It's an important thing. Control escape will kill the program and control shift M are the two major hotkeys. Those will merge the files unless, and let me demonstrate it so it's running right now. Let's come back in here. Here are the files. They're all very similar. I just, I basically created this first file with BK101, and then I put a BK102 in this file and a 103 in that file so we can see them when we merge them. So the tool operates in two ways, which I, I love this flexibility, is I can either hit my hotkey which right now I don't have anything select. I don't have an XML file selected. I'm going to hit control shift M and it's going to ask, Hey, select the files. that looks in this local folder. I can select them, say open. Now save the XML file. Now we did a little more work here where it's automatically going to save it in XML. I could just say example, if I don't add XML, it will append it. If XML is there, it wouldn't double do it. So this is going to merge them in here. We can select it takes a second to update here. There we go. And here you can see it kept the root node and wrapped it all, but then shoved the other ones in that. We did that by using a com object, which is very simple to use, especially in V1 or V2. The code's not very different as far as that goes. The other way, which I really like, is what this is more for my approach. I'm usually in Explorer. I'll select the files. Then I hit my hotkey, Control Shift M. Now notice this is already on the save as it detected we had files selected in Explorer and says, oh, look, those are the files you want to merge. What do you want to call it? So we'll call it example two. And I'll, this time I'll give it an XML extension uh, just to show that it doesn't repeat it. But here we come up with the same, once it refreshes, um, the same structure, same file. So thanks again, Gil, for letting us share that uh, and for the work. Uh, we do appreciate it. We do work, great work here. We do a lot of teaching with AutoHockey, but we also do custom work. So if you didn't know that, um, give us a try. If you have a, a script you have in mind that you don't have the skill or you don't have the time, more importantly, uh, let us know. Maybe we can crank it out for you. Have an awesome day. Cheers. Oh, if you learned something here, like the video, it really helps me out. And subscribe if you're not a subscriber. We're the largest auto hotkey channel out there. We have over 1,300 videos teaching people auto hotkey. And it's a great way to save time and decrease problems with your work. Cheers.